All right, so for problem uh, 3.2.7-2, two, the two balls are used to form a joint connecting rectangular parts in tension, as shown in fig. Uh, determine the required diameter of the bolts if the average shear stress for the bolts is not exceeding 150. Make a pass valve for the given loads of P equals 80 kilonewtons. All right, so um, this question should be relatively simple. Um, you know, it, we're look, only looking for shear uh, stress. Um, a lot of people get confused it's because, oh, like shear stress, normal stress, blah, blah, blah. It, it just remember, like stress is force divided by area. So uh, P, in this case, is force is applied load. Um, now we need area. An area equals, you know, uh, diameter divided by 2 squared times pi, right? And and the 2, the pi, everything's constant. We're only looking for D. So area is only, you know, with one unknown constant. Um, and there we go. And so this um, does not exceed, which means that, so now we basically have a, uh, um, a constraint, right? So we should note, notate it like this. Wait, wrong. This should be the other way around, right? Is P over A, and we're looking for the D. Okay, so uh, I guess one special thing about this question uh, is that it's testing us on understanding that, you know, the mechanical engineer, like engineering interpretation that there are two bolts over here, so remember, so which means the you know two balls means it will help each other, so it will divide by two. The four, the p will divide by two, and now this is also a double shear, right? So we divide by two again. Now, um, it's sort of a fact that in the school example 2.8 is already explained. Uh, well, it depends what kind of books, which books you're using. I'm using the uh, uh, materials of mechanics, uh, Cray, or Row, Cray, something, fourth edition. Anyway, I'll show you guys the uh, what I'm talking about. So over here, um, oops, sorry. So over here, it, it's proven that, so this is A is a single shear, right? So there are one surface, single shear with a bolt, and this is double shear, uh, two surfaces. Uh, that binds a, um, a bolt. Now, due to some algebraic manipulation, as you can tell, uh, B is this one, B, right? It's four uh, times P, and this is two times P. And this, it just means, you know, single, and this A, uh, this is single, single bolt. And this is, um, uh, wait, sorry, this is, my bad. Uh, figure 1a, sorry, this is a single uh, shear force, so um, this is 4, and this is b, right, figure 1b, this is um, double shear, which is 4, so yeah, single uh, shear force, or a single shear, um, averagely have the, uh, uh, is, is double the shear stress, if all the uh, given numbers are, are the same, right? So here we go. Uh, so P divided by two divided by two, which is P over four, um, which means this is, remember, this is the amount of um, load that each bolt uh, experiences, right? There are two bolts, we divide it by two, and there are double, sh it's double share, so we divide it by two again, right? If it's single share, then we don't need the two here. Anyway, so, yeah, so now we have the P divided by 4, which is 20 kilonewtons, right? Um, the 80 kilonewtons is given here. Um, now we just plug everything in. Oh, this is bigger or equals. So we just treat, you know, this um, P, which is the 80, uh, 20 kilonewtons equals, um, what way? Equals A, right? Sorry bigger or equal to A. All right, and then you can just, you know, change this in here. Uh, so now it just equals to D, well, D squared over four times pi. So you divide it by pi, you times four, 
right? So it's 4p over pi times 150 megapascal. This is d square, so uh, we square root the other side, and this should give us uh, the value of what the diameter should be. Um, obviously, for the purpose of the video, I won't be able to, well, I just look at my own answers, um, and you should get somewhere, uh, for the diameter, you should get somewhere around 13.03 uh, millil uh, millimeter. Now, I also made this mistake uh, the first time when I did this question, and then I realized, holy, just hold on for a second, like, it, it's definitely not this answer, is way too big, um, is because some of you, uh, it's megapascal, and then there's milliliters, right? Usually we, oh sorry, kilo newtons, right? Um, megapascals, and you know, so usually we tend to change it into meters or millimeters. Just remember, uh, milli, what is this? Let me get rid of this. Mil, you know, milliliters equals 0 0.00. .00 one two three yeah meters right but remember millimeters square is is um 10 to the negative six right this is 10 to the negative three right it's doubled so yeah just remember this uh then you should get somewhere uh around 13.03 uh, milliliters okay and um so this is the method of how to solve this problem i uh, hope this video was helpful um, good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.